Okay, let's see where we at on uh, our chart, the isomer chart. So right now we've been talking about the isomer that contain asymmetric centers. And the first one that you see is called enantiomers, where these two guys are um, mirror images, right? They, and they can line up. So we call uh, non superimposable mirror images, or basically enantiomers. A little bit the word um, asymmetric centers, that the, that's the chiral center. Uh, the chiral center must have four different substituents, so they can make molecule asymmetrical. Uh, the same thing with the plane of symmetry. If a molecule has plane of symmetry, it means it is symmet symmetrical. So this isomer won't, ha uh, won't, won't happen. Okay. Anyway, so uh, there's an enantiomer. Now, uh, a little bit about um, <clears throat> calling or naming this enantiomer. For example, this two build now uh, can be written as this isomer and this isomer. They are enantiomer. Okay, so we have to be able to um, call them differently for the purpose, uh, the communication purpose. And uh, the system that we're going to use is still IUPAC, right? Still IUPAC system. But uh, this a little bit of sidetrack um, or maybe just small part of IUPAC system. Talk about how do you differentiate these two? Or how do you call them differently? And they are three scientists, Khan, Ingo, Prelog, uh, who came up with this system called RS system. Okay, on the left side right here, we're going to call it S2-Butanol. Uh, on the right side, we call R2-Butanol. And here's how we call it. How do you, how, uh, here's how we determine, is it S or R? Uh, let's take a look right here. So there's a little skill that you have to do. Now, first of all, you have to uh, uh, prioritize or set the number to all um, the groups on the carbon. Right, all the substituent, substituent on the chiral center. For example, all right, take a look at this, chi uh, this chiral center here. All right, so there are four different substituents. So you have to put the number on them, right? Set the priori pri uh, priority from one to four. One is the most priori uh, priority, the highest priority. And this goes by atomic number. If you know bromine is number one, is the highest atomic number, okay? Uh, followed by, so we have carbon, hydrogen, oxygen. So we go with oxy oxygen. Uh, then carbon and hydrogen atomic number is one. Okay. And, um, yep. So we have one, two, three, and four. All right. Let's try this guy. So this is the chiral center is right here. Okay. So bromine is one, of course. Right? Who's number two? We got nitrogen. We got carbon. So nitrogen come from carbon for sure. So nitro nitrogen number two and then carbon number three. Who's four though? Who's number four? The hydrogen down there. Okay. All right, now, in the case that um, two atoms with the same atomic number or same element, right, they have the same atomic number, uh, you have to look at uh, what, that, what uh, that, that atom bond to, go to the next atom, okay? I'll give you some example. All right, this is a chiral center right here, all right? So we have uh, one, two, three, and four different substituents. This is a chiral center. And then we're going to uh, put number on them, all right? Who's number one, two, and three? Now... Uh, number one, two, and three, with they all this carbon, carbon, carbon. They have the same atomic number. So we have to look at what is bond to. Okay. So start with this carbon right here. This carbon bond to carbon, hydrogen, and hydrogen. There are two of them. So bond to carbon, hydrogen, hydrogen. All right. Now this, uh, let's do this guy right here. This carbon right here bond to two carbons. You know that? And one hydrogen. So carbon, carbon, and hydrogen. This guy right here bonds to carbon, hydrogen, and hydrogen. There are two of them. There we go. All right, so we got number one now. This guy bonds to carbon, carbon, hydrogen, win for sure. So we got number one. All right. Now, these two um, have the same prior uh, priority still. Okay. We have to go to the next atom. All right, let's start with this guy right here. This guy bonds to bromine. Totally win right there. Bromine, hydrogen, hydrogen. There are two of them. All right. This carbon here. Going to go to uh, this, car uh, oh, sorry, this carbon here bond to three hydrogen atoms. You know so the one with bromine get a, a higher priority. So one, go to two, go to three, and hydrogen is four. All right. All right. Try on your own right here. And uh, let's uh, do it with me. Okay. Now, carbon right here, that's the uh, um, chiral center. All right. We have bond to nitrogen. Uh, a propyl group, an ethyl group, and one and a hydrogen. So nitrogen is one, hydrogen totally four. Okay. So this carbon have this, <clears throat> this two, this two carbon have the same atomic number. So you have to look at what's uh, what is bond to. So this guy bonded to um, carbon, 
hydrogen, hydrogen, all right? This carbon right here bond to carbon, hydrogen, hydrogen. Uh oh, same thing. Don't worry. Go to the next atom along the chain. Go to the uh, next atom along the chain. This guy right here bond to carbon, hydrogen, hydrogen, all right? This carbon right here bond to all three hydrogens. This guy win. On the right side, the profit, uh, the profit group wins. Number two and number three. All right. And one more, okay. In the case that you see a double bond or triple bond, uh, multiple bonds, treat them as a separate single bond. And here's what I mean by it. This carbon right here is a chiral center, okay? All, car uh, all, all substituents have carbon, so they have the same um, uh, priority. So we have to look at what's, what is bond, what, uh, what do they bond to? Okay, start with this carbon right here. This carbon bond to double bond to oxygen. We're gonna uh, we're gonna treat this double bond as a separate single bond. So this carbon actually bond to uh, oxygen, oxygen and hydrogen. That's how we do it. All right. <clears throat> now this guy right here bond to oxygen and to hydrogen. Okay. This carbon here bond to carbon, hydro hydrogen, hydrogen. And this guy right here, oh, double bond, treat them as a separate single bond. So carbon, carbon, and hydrogen. Let's see what we got. We got number one, number two, get two oxygen, one oxygen, uh, two carbon, number three, and one carbon, number four. Okay. All right, try this one on your own. And let's check with me or do with me, whatever. This carbon here, bond two, oxygen, number one for sure. Uh, the other three substituents have the same atomic number, carbon, carbon, carbon. Okay. So we look at what they bond to. This guy right here bond to carbon, hydrogen, hydrogen. All right. This carbon right here bond to carbon, carbon, double bond, right? And then one hydrogen. Ta-da. This carbon right here, oh, easy, three hydrogens. So who wins? The double bond come first. Uh, I mean, second, right? One, two, three, and four. All right. All right. Once you have uh, all the numbers assigned, these are prior uh, priority. All right. We're going to read them R and S. So the way we're going to read it, we have to look at this molecule from the angle where the fourth priority is away from you. That's really important. Right. This fourth priority has to be away from you when you look at the molecule. So, for example, this molecule, uh, the fourth priority is already pointed to the back. So we're good. It's already away from you. The rest you just read one, two, and three, right? When you read one, two, and three, if it goes, uh, hold on, if it goes clockwise, it's R. If it's counterclockwise, it is, it is S, all right? Uh, sometimes people get confused on here, so I make it simple for you. If it R, go with the curve, that's, that's clockwise, that's an R. If it uh, go counterclockwise or go with the curve with, uh, of the S letter, that's an S, okay? All right, so. Right now, what we have, so we look at the molecule from, from, uh, like from, uh, uh, our angle right here. All right. So one, two, and three. So this one go, uh, this over the curve is an S. That's an S. Okay. <clears throat> In the case that, uh, the fourth priority is pointing toward you, you have to look at this molecule from the, uh, the opposite direction, from the back, right? Because you have to look at, uh, at the molecule where the fourth priority Priority group is away from you. So you have to look from the back right here. All right. If you have Tusky, look from the back. The nitrogen is going to be on his left hand. The carbon is going to be his right hand. See that? Bromine is going to be at the bottom. So he's going to look something like that. Nitrogen on the left hand. Methyl on the right hand. Bromine at the bottom. All right. One, two, and three. This looks like clockwise. Look like an R. Here we go. This is an R. All right. All right. I'm going to have you try down here. Try on your own. And we're going to check together right here. So one, Two and three, uh, the fourth priority is already away from you, so we good. So we go one, two, three. This is S. Yes. Okay. Uh, we got our uh, this one. We have okay. This fourth priority is is in front of you, so we have to look from uh, from behind, right, from the back of the molecule. So we got. Um, if I have two skin, look from that direction. The pro uh, pro group gonna be on his left hand. Uh, ether group gonna be his right hand and nitrogen gonna be at the bottom. All right. So, uh, pro pro group on the left hand, um, ether groups on the right hand and nitrogen gonna be at the bottom. All right. One, two, and three. This is R. Go with the curve. All right. One more time. You gotta be good at this. All right. One more time. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, what we got. So, this is where the, where is the fourth priority? So, ether group at the back right there. So, it's good. Right. So, look. From the front right here, so we go. Uh, number one, two, and three. That's an S. 
All right. And this guy, the fourth priority is in front of you. So we have to look from behind, from the back. OS going to be at the top. Um, the left hand side going to be ethyl group. The right, is, hold on. No, no, right hand side. This is right hand. Right hand's on the, on ethyl. Left hand going to be on the, the double bond. Okay. So left hand on double bond, right hand ethyl group, OS at the top. So one, two, and three, there's going to be an S. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. That's a tip right here. Uh, we're going to talk about this on the next video.